India has so much talent and it has so much culture and so many beautiful art forms and crafts so I feel like you know going and choosing something outside the country is completely unnecessary and in this particular project and all our projects we try to source everything locally so that you know we can show that our country has beautiful things to choose from and you don't need to go anywhere else. So hi, I'm Mitali Aharam and my design studio is called Crafted Spaces. Uh, I established it in the year 2014. So this villa is located in a gated community which was built quite a while ago. It's one of the oldest gated communities in Hyderabad. It was just really small windows with very poor ventilation. So when we first walked into the space, we knew it had a lot of potential because it was in a very quiet locality. So this is the main entry of the home through the west. This is our main door over here. So what we've done is we've made huge punctures in the wall so that we can get in a lot of light and cross ventilation. So as soon as you enter the home, uh, first of all, we wanted to create a little snippet of what you know you can see on the inside. So we added a big, large, full length picture window so you can actually see peaks of the home from the outside. Uh, we actually retained the main door and added a little bit of uh, a distress finish to it and a little bit of a beading. And as soon as you walk into the home, your first eye will go to the two Chetinad carved pillars. And I think that was what we wanted to create as a focal point. There's a beautiful wooden elephant that she has. So we've kind of tried to complement that and added that motif on the pillars as well. And again, if you notice, the pillars are not like your usual, um, you know, walnut or teak toned chetinat pillars. It's a nice washed out walnut tone. Uh, so you see the streaks of, of the white coming through the wooden grain. And um, also it has these motifs on the top, which is a crisscross. It's called like a pineapple design, which we've actually replicated on the bed of the master bedroom. And then as you look further on, your first line of sight will also be the beautiful feature wall that is behind the dining space. So this feature wall was hand painted by an artist. So what we wanted to do was create these two focal points being the Chetinad pillar and the focal wall over here. The dining table top is actually sourced from Rajasthan by a local artisan. So what we've done is we've taken a white neutral base marble to offset the floor. Uh, so if you see, these are like a cluster of hummingbirds, you know, and there's a beautiful pop of color with the flower. So some of the stones are semi-precious and the rest is all colored marble. So we actually sent out a drawing and um, uh, it was very accurately cut and they sent us a farma which we approved and then it was all inlaid into this and uh, the base was done locally so the marble was then assembled on the site and because this home is so minimal I think the detail is very subtle so as you enter the home you will not see it but as you come closer this will definitely catch your eye so because we have some soft pinks over here, we have a beautiful Sabyasachi fabric that we've chosen for the dining chairs. And we've kept the chairs with a little bit of cane because as soon as you enter the home, you don't want a solid piece of wood or fabric that you see. So we've added a little bit of cane in the dining chairs so that you can see through and through. And it adds a little bit of lightness to the space as well. Is another focal wall on my right and this charoka like I mentioned earlier mimics the mint stone charoka that is outside and we've done a charoka inside a charoka just because. <laughs> So we actually had to add three layers of landscaping over here so that when you're inside you get these really nice views of the landscaping peeking through. We don't have enough space in cities these days for the large uh, 
plants and all. So how much ever space is given, we try to include greens in that. First main concept is us to create, retain the old trees. Because of that, we wanted to give uh, because of this coconut tree, we gave this curve thing here, so that we wanted to include that in our landscape part. We wanted to play with the floorings. So we have chosen the tandoor tiles here. We have used three colors in this. One is dark gray, light gray and yellow. So as we climb up on the first floor, you will be welcomed with a lot of natural light coming in through the northern windows. And we have actually added a nice French door here so that you can step onto a balcony which is actually an unused porch and covers the parking below. So as you enter you will see the informal living area and earlier on there was a solid wall over here which we broke down to create a connectivity between these two spaces and this space is the sunroom. Uh, another really important part of this space is the sloped uh, uh, pitched wooden ceiling in a beautiful warm walnut uh, veneer and I think this kind of just ties the whole space up together and adds a little bit of the warmth. And on the right side of the staircase you have the puja room and the children's bed. So Anika's headboard uh, has a beautiful hand-painted floral artwork and we've given her a beautiful crown-like headdress where she can hang uh, some sheer drapes from just to make it a little more dreamy, young. Uh, we've used a lot of pastels in her room and uh, this artwork was done by a local artist. now on the first floor in the master bedroom and this is again one of my special places in this home um, mainly because we've achieved this amazing height in this particular room and that's thanks to the builder because he has a pitch roof in his elevation so this is the one room that allowed us to play with a lot of height so what we've done is we've actually added some more rafters and we've done like a nice whitewash shiplap ceiling and to complement the ceiling we've run uh, rafters as a wainscoting on the wall as well on either side of the room. So as we come up on the second floor, earlier on in the builder's layout this was the only structure available in the southwest quadrant. So what we did is the client required an additional space for a home theatre. So we converted this area into a home theatre and you can step onto the terrace from here and we added an additional door so that you can access it from here as well. The Greece theme is all about simple and minimal. So we used uh, only minimal furniture here so we didn't add any additional loose furniture. Initially, we gave a pargola design here for the clients to relax in the morning. Uh, then the client asked for Santorini inspired terrace. So then we designed this look for, uh, for them. You know, practicing restraint in, in design is extremely, extremely hard. And, and subtle is the key over here and restraint is the key. So I think it was honestly one of my toughest projects. I know it, it seems easy and light and airy, but so much thought has gone into every element that has gone in.